Hi guys, I am literally filming this on my lunch break because it's the only time I have to film it and they're doing building works. So I'm really sorry about that. But this is it. If I don't film now, you don't get a video. So you're welcome. Yesterday I dyed my hair, which you 100% cannot tell unless it's in the most direct light possible. But I just wanted it to be slightly kind of reddish. And yeah, nothing really happened, which is a bit irritating, but that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about why I dyed my hair. I think I might have dyed my hair for the dumbest reason possible, and that is because I did a BuzzFeed quiz on what colour I should dye my hair this summer, and it told me Auburn. So yeah! Now, I have wanted to dye my hair before, but I've just never done it. I've always wanted to kind of go a little bit red, a little more Emma Stone, and never been brave enough to do it. And now that I have, you can't even tell, so I don't know what that says. But it made me think, what is it about BuzzFeed quizzes that we're all so addicted to? Now, I'm not saying that I'm gonna go out and do all the things that BuzzFeed quizzes tell me to do. I'm not gonna try sleep with Ryan Gosling. I'm not gonna marry a notebook I think it told me to marry. I'm not gonna be doing that. But why do I keep doing their quizzes? Why do I know that BuzzFeed thinks I should hang out with Kevin Spacey at the White House Correspondents' Dinner? When is that ever going to be useful information to me? Why do I care about which TV friendship group I belong in? Or that BuzzFeed thinks I'm a Schmidt rather than a Jess? These are the questions that plague me. I was thinking about this and I think what it is is that we want to be validated, really, don't we? I think a large part of the internet these days is people making their online presence be the person that they really want to be. So I'm not saying we all change ourselves online, I'm sure some people do, there's role play and all sorts of stuff that I'm not part of and have never quite understood. I'm just talking about our Facebook profiles, our Twitter, our Tumblr, our Pinterest, our God knows, all the other things, LinkedIn. Even which of these websites you choose to be a part of all say so much about the person you want to be seen as. But I hate LinkedIn, my LinkedIn is never looked at, it's never used, because to me, that kind of professional side of me is the least important part of how I see myself at the moment. Maybe one day I'll find a job I really love and it'll suddenly become something that's really, really important to me, but at the moment, LinkedIn is like nothing to me. The website that I use most actively is Tumblr, which I think you all know, probably, because Sadly, maybe, the most important aspect of who I am and what I think defines me most is the things I like. So, TV shows, films, people, music, theatre, all these things, if you look at my Tumblr, you can see what I like and I think that says most about me. So I think the reason we've all become so obsessed with BuzzFeed quizzes of late is because it allows us to see if this idea of ourselves that we're projecting actually lines up with who we are really. We answer these questions honestly, or I do, I take these things very seriously, and then we hope, beyond hope, that the answer that we want is the answer that we get. And we go on from there. And there's no reason that BuzzFeed should have such an impact on our lives. I mean, what sort of algorithms are there? Sometimes I just pick random answers to questions I have no answer to. And yet I'm still offended that of all the guys on Gilmore Girls, Christopher is who BuzzFeed thinks is my soulmate. And when you think about it, it's insane, because none of this means anything, to the extent that they put out these dumb quizzes, like, what thing are you? To be honest, these things are no more ridiculous than which TV show character are you? Which, you know, are the ones that I really care about, honestly. BuzzFeed. Yeah. I just thought I'd ramble on about that for a little bit. And that's the thoughts I have. That's that in my mind, is the only way we can rationalise how obsessed we all are with BuzzFeed. I'm gonna go back to work now, maybe mid-afternoon, do a BuzzFeed quiz. Just because. Alright then, bye! Shut up!